millions of Americans trade in and upgrade their cell phones each and every year. Well, many trust the stranger behind the counter to actually erase that device of all the personal data. But I-Team reporter Jackie Calloway discovering several cases in which customers accuse store employees of stealing the most private of images off their phones. What happened on November 4th haunts Kat and her fiancé, Dan. I sp specifically asked, are you going to do the factory reset? And he's like, yes, we will. Don't worry about it. The couple visited a T-Mobile store near Orlando where Dan traded in his cell phone for an upgrade. Dan, I'm like, who did you send this video to? And he's like, what video? And I'm freaking out, like, oh, my God. Hours later, they discovered someone transferred an intimate video they'd made months earlier from Dan's mobile to another phone. So I'm like, oh my God, he stole it. I, we immediately called the store. Dan and Kat say they traced the stolen video to a T-Mobile employee. I feel extremely exposed and, and vulnerable. Tampa attorney John Brewer says it's one of three similar cases involving employees at different cellular stores in recent months. We don't know where these photographs, in some cases, or videos have gone. Joanne, who lives in Largo, says an employee at this Sprint store stole 22 nude pictures off her old cell phone last November. What was your assumption that they would do with the old phone and the material on it? Delete everything and then put it away. According to Largo police, Kenneth Hilario Sanchez transferred the pictures from Joanne's mobile phone to his own. I started crying, actually, because I was like, how can somebody do that to me? Like... Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Hilario Sanchez appeared in court this week. He is awaiting trial on a felony charge. Very violated and scared. I don't know where these pictures are going to go, who's going to see them later on in life. The Osceola Sheriff's Office confirms it's investigating the T-Mobile incident. I contacted both companies and asked what are they doing to ensure the safety of their customers' data. Both responded via email. T-Mobile is committed to providing customers with a positive experience, and we're very unhappy about this unfortunate incident. We are cooperating with law enforcement on this investigation. And Sprint told us we do not condone this behavior at Sprint. We're continuously evaluating safeguards and processes to ensure our customers' personal data and information is protected. This gentleman left us all of his shopping, his bank history. Casey Paris, the owner of Worldwide Sales in Brandon, estimates about half of his customers fail to erase their phones before trading them in. Most customers don't think about it. Apple makes it easy to reset or clear their devices. You simply start with settings and then you're going to tap on general and then you find reset. Tap reset, then you're going to see a bar erase all content and settings. And once you do that, it's going to ask you one final time if you want to erase your iPhone and you're done. If your phone contains a memory card, remove it. If you have the store transfer material from your old to your new phone, delete anything you don't want anyone else to see beforehand. What advice do you have for anyone else turning in a cell phone? Make sure you delete it. Do a factory reset. Don't trust. Don't put that trust in someone else's hands. Now, if you turn in a phone and then realize afterward that there's something on there you don't want anyone to see, you may be able to erase it remotely. But you would need the Find My iPhone or Find My Droid app. I'm Jackie Calloway, taking action for you.